Sonoran University of Health Sciences will provide free health care to children and their families at the Tempe Elementary School District. It's the first community clinic for the university in Tempe. And joining us to talk about it is Katie Nettles, Sonoran University's Director of Development and Alumni Relations, as well as Michelle Gamaldi, Tempe Elementary School District Wraparound Services Department Director. That's a long title. Thank you both. And yes, you look at me. <laughs> um, let's start with you, Katie. Can you um, tell me how this idea came about first? Sure. Sonoran University has been providing free health care in Maricopa County since 1996, and we have not ever served the Tempe community, even though we've been in Tempe since 1996, and it was one of the things that we wanted to change, and we thought the Tempe Elementary School District was the per perfect partner. We also provide care in different school districts, so we have experience doing this in the Roosevelt and Murphy School Districts, and wanted to continue to make an impact, but right in our backyard. How many schools are we talking about? And it's, this is for students, staff, and family, right? Uh, Tempe Elementary School District is 22 proud schools. We have four uh, comprehensive middle schools. We have two K-8s, and then the rest are all elementary schools. And yes, community members, uh, family members, and our students are, are welcome to this partnership. And what kind of services are we talking about, Katie? Yeah, we provide a wide variety of services. So naturopathic medicine really is preventative care that looks at the whole person. And so our doctors have a unique ability to pull from their toolbox and they can use prescription medications. They can use botanical medicine, physical medicine, nutrition. Um, so it's really a wide variety. We can see kids for back to school physicals um, or we can see adults for acute illness. Um, anything really that someone needs help with. Well, we know that getting health care, quality health care certainly benefits the individual and benefits families. Michelle, how does it benefit schools? Oh, well, let me start. Um, in order for a student to really um, take advantage of their education and be healthy in the classroom, they have to be healthy outside of the classroom, whether that's a medical partnership or a behavioral health partnership. Um, Any time that you can help a student feel good, they're going to perform better in the classroom. And I imagine then that is there, there's a sort of a, a domino effect, right? Like it's, it's healthier for teachers to be in a classroom where children are healthy and paying attention. Go. And um, what sort of um, obstacles do you think you're able to remove by offering this community clinic? I think just the access to care and the fact that we're located in Tempe. So hopefully the Tempe community has easy access to our facility. Um, we're located right off of Broadway and the 101. Um, so there's a couple of schools right across the street from us. and. Um, will be able to serve anyone that has a connection with the Tempe Elementary School District. How will you know this is successful? What are you, as you guys were talking and planning this, how do you define success? Uh, there's a couple different ways. Um, one, are students getting treatment sooner than later? Um, is that care quality care for them? Uh, looking at the numbers, how many students, how many families took advantage of this partnership? So we're tracking the data. Um, and. I take it as we didn't have this partnership before, so any intervention that we put in place is just icing on the cake. Katie, what sort of benefit is there for university students? Yeah, so um, it's part of our College of Naturopathic Medicine that their clinical education is through these clinics. So they are part of the clinical care along with a licensed physician who's overseeing the care. So they get wonderful experiences and unique experiences providing care at our community clinics. So there's great benefit to them. Michelle, how are you letting staff and students and family know? Uh, we have great word of mouth. Um, obviously, when families come and take advantage of the services, they tell their neighbors, they tell their friends, they tell, you know, their cousins, everybody. Uh, we have an avenue through our district in our communications department, uh, Peach Star, that goes directly out to uh, the families electronically. We put it in our school newsletters. We educate our nurses and our administrators that if a student shows up with pink eye at any school, this is a partnership that they can send the family to to get get services right away and get oh, it cleaned That's up. amazing, yeah. right? You yeah. don't have to then try to find some urgent no. health clinic and, oh, wow. Um, Katie, tell me where again, you mentioned where you're located, but the community clinic, exactly where is it? What are the hours? What do people need to know? Sure. We are located off of Broadway in the 101, and we currently serve patients in the Tempe School District on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 7. People can go online and learn more about our clinic at sage.sonoran.edu, or if they're interested in making an appointment, they can call 480 
970-0000. And we are open outside of the three to seven hours. So you don't have to just call during that time. Great, thank you. I think I'll even remember that phone number. A lot of zeros in there. <laughs> thank you, Katie. Thank you, Michelle. We appreciate you coming thank in. Thank you. Thank you.